here we are at Armada Ave and I want to show the neighborhood. I love this neighborhood. It's so pretty. All the houses can form well, but all the different garage doors and everything like that. It looks so nice. Your house looks in really good shape. The siding is cement planked, our favorite because of its durability. The garage door is in really good shape. The landscaping up is pretty. And then you have at least two car parking out here and then the garage parking as well. So there's street parking lined. You can kind of see where that car is. There's like designated notches for street parking, which is nice. We have the gutters going into a storm drain. And we'll go around the back. We're gonna head inside first. You can see how nice the landscaping is. In this covered porch area to put some chairs out here. And a shot of the front door. When we walk in, it feels like a really open floor plan. You have the stairs right there, but the vaulted ceilings in the living room make it feel very big and open. So look at the flooring. And you have a gas fireplace. So there's natural gas and electric here um, with a heat pump as well as central AC, which is always a perk of a newer build. Into the kitchen area. All of this conveys with the house. You have that really pretty fridge, just like that um, gunmetal kind of color. And the cabinets, I believe, are, yeah, they're soft clothes. So that's really nice. Look at the sink in this pantry is amazing. Extra storage up here. You have the wine fridge. really cool. We'll step out on the back at the end here. Go down this hallway. We have two closets right here. A linen and then more of a coat closet. Off to the right. And then the laundry room, which these convey as well. Nice size here. And then the master, which that's a king bed, I believe, and it's really big in here. You can see how much room is on either side still. Have some tile in the bathroom, that looks really pretty. Double vanity, really nice. Then the fiberglass shower, it's kind of a step-in shower with this tub as well. Big closet. And then I'm gonna head back to the front of the house because I didn't step off to the left there where the garage and the powder room is. So back in the living space, right next to the door, you have this kind of guest bath. And then the garage is really nice out here. You can see the flooring is really pretty, which I don't think I've said in a, about a garage before, but it looks so nice out here. And then you have your water heater, kind of heating and cooling system going on. We're gonna take a look upstairs. Okay, off to the right here. This room is massive. I'm sure you can kind of tell on video even though it's hard, but they have an office space. And then this bedroom area. No closet in here, doesn't look like, but plenty of room to either put one in or have lots of dressers and storage. So that's nice. Off to the right of that 
Here's a bathroom. With that standard fiberglass shower. Let's see on that side. And next to that is a linen closet. We have another bedroom. This one's smaller in size, but still decent, bigger than a typical bedroom, I'd say, which you can kind of see with that bed and the two nightstands on either side. And this one does have a closet in it. Moving down the hallway, bedroom number three. This one is the smallest one, I would say. But again, has that closet. And then this really cool loft space. This could be a kid's hangout up here by the room, so this is kind of fun. We're gonna go down and see the backyard. Okay, we're in the backyard. You can see there's some construction going on up there on that hill. The birds are almost just as loud back here right now. I'm not sure if you can hear them, but really pretty. You have some suns hitting you. It's not raining today, so it's a good day to see that you will get a little bit of sunshine back here. It's nice because you can do some really pretty landscaping, but it's not a ton to maintain. We have these sun chairs back here, which is a cute idea. Um, and then it's not fully fenced. You have that there, but you're able to walk around to the side of the house back to the front. So there's a better shot of the patio as a whole. And then this has the community parks and trails and everything um, with that annual HOA fee.